Welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bubbles. The P today stands for Princess Poppy, you brilliant fucking bitch. Yeah. Princess Poppy at the Emmys, we bow down to you. Goblin. Listen, here's what I have to say. And this is what all you Drag Race fans, here's this, I wouldn't hear me. Being bad at Drag Race doesn't you mean you're bad at drag. Oh my God, Some no. people just don't translate well. And Princess Poppy's one of those people. She's brilliant. She made it not only for drag, she made it. She was the moment of the Emmys, period. Like full stop, not just in drag. Everyone wanted to know you. All the men wanted to fuck you and all the women wanted to be you. I don't That's know if they Princess wanted Poppy. to fuck you if you were, if you were a goblin, but those well, it's Hollywood. Hollywood. Types. Are you Holly kidding weird. me? Okay, we get invited to the Emmys, right? I'm hiring a makeup artist. I am going to look the prettiest I've ever looked. We're gonna go I full want... glamour. I'm gonna contact Christian Siriano. I'm gonna see if that, um, what's that law where is... you can't come near? Where restraining order? I'm gonna see if the restraining order's up and I'm gonna ask if I can please. This is what I love. This is what I love. That bit worked so much better because you didn't know what it was. Thank you. I would want to look so fuckable so that I could just walk up to everyone and I'd be like, hello. You want to, but for her to go, this is my chance to be surrounded by celebrities and to look my best. I'm going goblin. More res listen, she's braver than the troops, and I've always said it. I'm always obsessed. You are Princess my Poppy. hero. You are my icon. An icon. Oh, we celebrate you so for being amongst all those stars, and honestly, being the star. All those sharks. Shark Tank is on ABC. What was that on? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Alexis, it's so funny you mentioned that because the sponsor of today's video is Surfshark. Surfshark. Oh my God, I could feel it coming. That was my hand. Surfshark is a VPN that keeps your information safe. And let's be honest, the world is a dangerous place. Global warming. Global uh, uh, cooling. Listen, you just want it in the middle, okay? Yeah. Lava. No, 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 stop. I Sorry. don't like that. I know, it gets her horny. Internet criminals are out to get your information. I mean, I yeah. don't know what they would get from you. My DoorDash orders. We already know that. It's everything that Taco Bell has. Yeah. They have this new chicken flatbread thing. It's really good. So I use it to protect all of my financial documents, mainly just the list I make every time you ask me for money. <laughs> Also, you get to travel the world with Surfshark because let's oh be God. honest, Alexis, you watch a lot of TV. And yeah, and you sometimes do repeat a lot. I'm sometimes I don't have anything to watch, yeah. so I have to go to Britain and watch all the British crime series. Is or like she likes when Britain. I do people, like the British Norwegian. Do crimes. like the Norwegian like crime shows. Norway. The killing. No, and because all you know what it is? is? You expect Norwegian people to be super nice and like, nah, I'm not gonna murder you. But yeah, you can set your IP address anywhere in the world and get access to their internet websites and their Netflixes and stuff. Darby, how do I get my hands on this deal? Thank you so much for asking. All you have to do is use code IMHO at checkout and listen, listen here. You know, usually it's three months free, which no. is exciting. Three months is great. But it's a new year and a new you and Right now, you're gonna get up to six months. Not Gladys. Black Friday deal. Surfshark said, there's Fridays in January. Yeah. So for the rest of the month, if you use code IMHO at checkout, you can get up to six months free. What? That is incredible. That's almost That's a full an baby. That's incredible deal. I think, right? Babies are Six months annoying. in the morning. I agree. Use code IMHO at checkout and get Surfshark in today, surfs. Surfshark does it better. Surfshark does it right. Surfshark. Today. Did you hear the new Ariana Grande song? Yes, I did. I love it. I support it. Yeah. It's not as much improv as I would like. Yes, and yes, and. But, you know. It's, I like there. the spirit of it. Listen, before we get into it, you have gone on a roller coaster. Thank you. And then you barely got off and were still recovering when I got placed on a roller coaster. So since the last time we filmed, my roommates. Oh. My roommates were both kind of like, hey, by the way, we're going to move out by the end of this month. And I was like, <laughs> excuse me, what? But 
It's ended up working out so good. I mean, fingers crossed the deal isn't done yet, but I've already signed and sent a lease. Listen, you've signed I've so much. I've gotten approved. You've signed so much. I got money. You gave me money to give to the guy. That you earned. That I earned, that I earned. I'm gonna be getting my very own space connected to a friend's house so I won't be like alone by myself in the valley. So close to where I already no. live, I won't have to change like, you know, zip codes. We already know that how much the Uber costs to get here, because it's basically the same thing. Yes. So I can still scoot to work and most importantly, I'm gonna have my own pool. There will be a pool there. I'll have to share that with the other boys. It's gonna be like New Girl though. I'm gonna be living with three bachelors. But you're but living in a separate I'm house. living in like the coach house. Technically it's the pool house, yeah. but I'm calling it the cottage. Bitch, I think that's so cool. You've always wanted to live in a tiny home. I've always wanted to live in a tiny home. I've always wanted to live by myself. Now I'm gonna live with a pool. You're gonna come over, finally. I wanna take an outdoor shower in front of you. There's an outdoor shower. There's an outdoor Do bathroom. This. Or it's not outdoors, but like there's a bathroom out there for a pool. There's a kitchen by the pool. There's a sink. Now to the grill. Are you, you plan on doing a lot of grilling? Um, we'll do a roommate slash friend reveal soon. You yeah, might, yeah, you, you might, might recognize already know them. You might recognize. But um, I'm so excited for you. I am mainly because so I only have like three friends in LA, and now two of them will be living together. And well, I never come over to your house anyway. But now you'll have a reason to, because there will be like a pool. A pool. Yeah. And a backyard that JB can uh, run fenced around. in. Actually, the front yard's fenced. The whole thing is fenced in, so JB can come and go crazy. She's not friendly to other dogs, though. No, but we so can... they must stay inside. I can make them... Yeah, we can ask Disappear. them... Disappear. No, we can ask them to stay inside for a little bit. Just for, like, uh, 20 maybe, minutes. Maybe, and maybe, who knows, maybe they'll help get her socialized. No. She's mean. She's not mean. Can I tell you, can I, before we get into this episode, I really want this to be the longest episode we've ever done. I need to tell you about what I went through physically, spiritually, emotionally. Okay. Oh. So currently, okay. we got a lot of comments from my vague <laughs> talks in the last episode. I'm not ready to publicly talk about it. It's still something like the family is not wanting to publicly talk about, but. It's um, talked about on our Patreon if you really want to know. Okay, that sounds bad. I'm not trying to put trauma behind a paywall. I'm really not. But it's such a big part of my life and such a, a tight community to me that I did share some details with the family's permission on Patreon. But don't sign up for Patreon to get the news. That's, that's fucked up. But also you could. Anyway. Do what you want. Do what you want. Do what makes you happy. Come for the news, stay for the jokes. When the family's ready, I will be talking about it. But we went back to Philadelphia with Curtis's family and that's where I was for the past week. And we were supposed to fly back on Monday and there was a snowstorm a coming over the years. Anytime we go visit family, it's always around Thanksgiving or Christmas. Like I don't think I've ever seen Philadelphia in warm. It's never been I don't been think it warm. happens. Not often. Over the years, there have been three, by my count, I do exaggerate. There have been three incidents where the day we were supposed to leave, our flight got canceled because of snow. Snow is like cold rain. Yeah, it's like when rain is just kind of mean. We get to the airport, it's beautiful, we're so excited, we're gonna get out before the snow starts. No, that's funny. That's a funny thought I had that that was gonna happen. If you wanna make God laugh, what do you do? Make a plane. Get on a plane. <laughs> so we get on this plane, it starts to snow, we have to de-ice. We have to, you have to de ice. We have to de ice. So we wait in line for the de icer because all the planes are like, get this off me. De ice is a beautiful name for a baby girl. De ice. Is that, you mean Denise? No, it's de ice. It's de ice. We're waiting on Miss De ice to scrub our plane. Mm -hmm. We wait in line for three hours. Now, we paid for the exit row because my legs are what? Long. Thank you, and so skinny. Truly, how do they hold me up? It was only a half full plane, so it didn't feel very claustrophobic because they're just, it was kind and of a perfect storm. And you had your phone, you have your gadgets. Gadgets and gizmos are plenty. Not Instagram. I did not have Instagram because of my new phone number, and it's a whole thing. We wait in line, and then the pilot comes on, he says. This is what he says, he says. Uh, hey, it's your pilot up here in the flight deck. Just want to let you know, um, we are next in line. So, uh, we should be seeing a push off in, um, about 25, 30 minutes. Uh, thank you for your patience. Uh, you know, like pilots do. So we're like, great, it's almost over. Like the three hours was worth it, baby. Then five minutes later, uh, it's your captain speaking. Uh, it's our turn to be, uh, de-iced, but, uh, they ran out of fluid. They ran out of fluid. We waited for three hours and they ran out of fluid? And because it was the end of the day, the flight crew shift was over by the time we got to the de-icer. So there was no time for us to even wait for them to refill it. 
so we had to get off the plane. <gasps> Which honestly was fine because I realized I had it a lot better than some. There were so many grown adults sobbing. I saw a man in his 60s sitting off at a like abandoned gate with his laptop open to God knows what, sobbing. Porn. Oh, maybe it was the porn. Anyway, it made me feel bad. So then the next day we go and they're like, don't worry, baby, don't worry, we have it figured out now. Come on back the next day, we got you. And I said, okay, American, I choose to believe you. Guess how long we sat on that plane? Well, I know, so I won't guess. Six hours. They didn't close the door because they knew that the de-icing line was so long and that we were so far down the list that they couldn't close the door because there was a It was rule. ice stuck. So it was so long that we could get off the plane. Have you ever done that? We could get off the plane, go into the airport and grab food or whatever, and then get back on the plane. They used to be, used to be able to do that like- Oh, for fun. Yeah. yeah, well that was when you could smoke on planes. Like in between, yeah. It was annoying though, because you did have to take all of your carry-on stuff with you and- Did you go, did you get off? I did because I think it was hour three that I was like, I don't see this ending anytime soon. But they kept saying, we're gonna make an announcement and we're gonna close the door quick so you can't go far. I bought so many Uncrustables. Oh, that's okay. so fun. I bought um, you flips. I love a white chocolate pretzel. And then the flight to get back was six hours. So we spent 12 hours on that plane. <sighs> anyway, my but you know. would have been hurting. And mine was because mine is so, mine's mostly bone. And the seat I was assigned was broken. <gasps> So it was like the, and then so all, and hard. So it was on hard, but it, the plane was mostly empty. So I just switched to another seat, but I wanted to complain about something. And no, I was really nice to the staff and they were very, very sweet. And I felt so bad for them because human beings are awful. You know, okay? for sure. Especially human beings on planes. Snakes on a plane. I would rather do that. Oh no, I wouldn't. I'll take the humans. Okay. So. Uh, well, I'm, you're back. We're back in LA and we're back with Drag Race. We're back with Drag Race episode two. How did you feel? I thought I was so excited to watch this episode. I was very excited because I was in Philly with the family. Oh yeah. And mother-in-law had already seen did the first Mama episode. Did Mama D, did she watch too? She did. And my sister-in-law and brother-in-law who had never watched Drag Race watched it for the first time oh, too. Fun. So that was really exciting. It was also really exciting to see my mother-in-law because she'd watched one episode. She got to kind of lead she the got, ship a little bit. She got to explain it to them and her explanations were so mostly right but kind of funny. <laughs> I, I just loved it. I will say this, controversial yet brave, I think the first episode was uh, a lot better. Oh 100%. So I was bummed N that 90% better. The yeah. sister and sister and brother-in-laws didn't get to but see maybe that. they didn't have something to compare it to so they just thought it was fun. Um yes. Okay, Maybe. I don't know, but when my mother-in-law told me that, I said, you're right, Diane. Yeah. You're right. The first episode was just a But banger. with that said, I really enjoyed these girls. I me loved too. meeting them and I loved some fashions. Well, let's meet them, shall we? Yeah. We're gonna start off with Hershey Le Courgette. My best friend. Your best friend. What, sister to Cornbread? They're the same family. Sissy's drag family. She, I did the show uh, Sugar Tank and she was the special guest. She was so fucking nice. Can yeah. I tell you? I was saying that she goes, Darby, sit down, let's talk. And I was like, she goes, I'm Hershey. And I was like, I know, I talked about you on the internet. She's so kind. The first thing I said was, are they real kids? Because I didn't, I couldn't tell if she was like joking or not. And she was like, oh, and she told me the full story about the toddlers and all of that. I just, I adore her. Did she say anything about me? And then she kept giving me these kind of pageant answers because she just came off the press week. And I was like, tell me the truth. And she's like, it's a blessing, but I am very tired. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. That's what I wanted to hear. Well, she looks like a blessing in this outfit. I liked it. I thought it was beautiful. You know, I love fabric. I love her hair. I love her makeup. I love that she added the flair of the fabs. I needed the fabric. I didn't. I didn't, overall it wasn't for me, but there's a confidence and spirit about her that I think she could wear a paper bag and I'd be like, yeah, I would, I'd put that on. Speaking of things I'd put on, plasma. Adorable 50s Dior inspired. I do wish the skirt, I wish it had a little bit yeah, more volume because I, I feel like it was kind of strangling the under thing, whatever. But I did love it. This is, this is my, this is my cup of tea right here. I found her to be so, What's the theater degree thing that everyone says? Oh, MMA. Yes, I found her to be so like, what is it called? 
bachelor's musical theater B B Bachelorette. B B O A B M A B S A. Oh B F A. B F A. Oh my god. <laughs> She was so BFA to the point that it was a little annoying, but only because I saw so much of Alexis in her. I did enjoy her. Yeah. I hated how much I enjoyed it. Geneva Vroom Vroom Car representing Mexico. I loved it. I thought she looked really pretty. I, and I loved, loved how Sparkly it. told us exactly who she is, what I she's about. I loved the bit of it. It was so strange. It wasn't like a tie. I just loved it. Yeah. I, I, w I wanted to put it on. It would have been super weird if I did, but. All right, let's talk about the name on everybody's lips. Plain Jane. Okay, let's start with let's the start look. Let's start with the look. I was Incredible. so. I was so fascinated and I was yeah. in love with that hair. Yeah. The like squiggle hairline. I think she drew that on. No, no, no. You could tell it was tied. Placed. Wow. I'm pretty sure. Why do you think that was? I don't know. I just thought it was so interesting. It was like those kind of scissors that have the like cut out. I love her shape. I love I get, her face. I, I, I get what she, face. oh yeah, she's beautiful. Yeah. I get her. I feel, I know who she is by this. What'd you think about her commentary in the okay. entrances? I want to thank you so much for asking me that question because I had written on Patreon, hey kiddos, like I'm back in town, we'll get the episode up soon, but I need to know your thoughts on Plain Jane. And I read every <gasps> single comment, so thank you. Can we can You get really Patreon? should. Join the Patreon? At some point. <laughs> I will give you the login that we have. Well, hang on. I'll ask Paula if she's okay with that. <laughs> okay. There were very mixed reactions and s some very good points were raised. Number one, the way that she stepped into the villain role so assertively mm -hmm. came off as a little insecure. And I think that's why we're not enjoying her villain edit in the same way that we did with like a Candy Willem. Muse type, or like or a, a Candy Willem. Muse, or a Mistress. They all had kind of a confidence behind it, and honestly, a lot of what they said was right. But they all had like this confidence behind them that we could all laugh along. You have to laugh. But hers, I'm enjoying it because we haven't seen someone this boldly. I'm the bad guy since Fifi. Vivi's return, maybe? So I'm very thankful that she is doing this. I just wish there was a little... Well, it's interesting because usually... I, I just want something... I don't know what well, I Well, because usually those kind of characters get kind of like backlash from viewers. However, I think she believes and other people believe... She's an attractive white dude. Yeah. People are like... Giving her more of a pass. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that discourse on Twitter and I thought that was a very interesting point. It has to play a role in it. The other thing I think is like, because Bianca did this too. She, she was quick with the quips and quick with the criticisms, but... A few episodes down the line, you see her kind of soften and show. So I wonder if we're going to get that from Plain Jane. I think it would serve her well as a TV character to do that. Because if we just get one note the whole time, that's going to be, well, plain. But... Okay, Jane. For her sake, I do hope that we get to see a more human side of her because right now it just seems very inauthentic and very put on. It seems like... Who did the hair? Who does the hair? Serena Cha-Cha. Chi-Chi. Serena Cha-Cha. Yes. Do you remember her and how she was? No. Well, exactly, plain Jane. Take note. I think it excites me because I do like her drag so much. I get her drag. I like it. And I that's why cool. I think the villain edit could work for her if there was just a little more... Oh, this is going to sound so gay, but love a little more sisterly, like a little, just some yeah. form of like connection with someone else. But I am enjoying a villain. I do like a clear villain. Yeah. Me too. Sorry. Let's talk about Megami. I like saying her name. Love her name. Megami. She looked beautiful. I loved that. The, she was the Antichrist. I loved from the tits up. I wish the dress were more than just like a... Like a dress? A velour little dress. See, yeah, I'm, I've got my bar so low. I'm just glad it wasn't a bodysuit. I would have preferred a gown. A gown or even like it would have, pants. I think it would have elevated all of the already incredible kind of crustacean that she put on herself. I guess it does kind of cut her off weird, the length yeah. and the shoe with it's the straps. Strange. But I do, I agree, the ch tits up. Tits beautiful. up is orange. Maya, I'm on the page. Oh, I loved her entrance. The beautiful, like, orange tangerine. Wanna Fanta. Moment. Don't you wanna? Wanna, wanna Fanta. Fanta. I would want a Fanta with this. I did steal that from someone. Ooh, bitch. So I watched this episode on Friday. Okay. Mm -hmm. At time of filming is Thursday because I was in Philadelphia. It doesn't matter. I couldn't really remember a lot of the episode as much as I wanted to. So I searched on the YouTube. I searched for other people's reviews. I was like, oh, this will be fun because I can find a new reviewer. Who's, who's Darby watching? Donut. 
Donut? This bitch, her name is Donut. I think her channel's called Donut Video. And then on social media, she's Donut Worldwide. <laughs> Listen. I love that name. Oh, I'm obsessed. I watched her review of this episode and then I went back to watch hers of last week's because I was having so much fun. <gasps> she doesn't do a review like us, like it's later on we're talking about it. She does like a live, like as she's watching the episode, but she edits it down and she includes like funny memes and like sound effects. And it's just her and she's, ugh, She's gorgeous. Like, and it's oh, just her. I don't like that. It's just her on her couch, basically talking to the TV. I could watch it for days. Donut! Listen, okay. You have to watch it. It's so entertaining. And I loved seeing a live reaction to Plain Jane. I loved seeing her try and figure out what was happening because ultimately, that's what we were all going did. through. None yeah. of us did. Anyway, go watch Donut. Obsessed. De uh, deeply obsessed. Sorry. Speaking of deeply obsessed, our final girl for the episode, and I think the one to watch, yeah. Miss Nymphia Wind. Wow. Nymphia wow. Elizabeth Wind. Wow. I am completely obsessed. Yeah. Wow. Just wow. from the moment she slipped onto the workroom floor. Incredible. It's a wow for me. I'm obsessed with her. It's a wow for me. Aesthetically, love it. I don't love that I was sitting next to my mother-in-law when she shook her banana at us, but that was on me. That's bad planning. <laughs> yeah. I, I love it. I will say if she can work a banana into all of her looks, I will be hers forever. That yeah. is so funny to me. Ugh. And out of drag. She's so cute. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. They were obsessed. they were talking about trade of the season, which honestly That's the wrong term. It's the wrong term. Using it that way, but, but very attractive person. Nymphia. Nymphia. So yeah. fucking cute. And her like her cute little voice when she turned to the girls. She stole my heart. Heart stolen. Heart stolen. Yeah. Let's quickly talk about the mini challenge. We don't have to get too much into it, but as opposed oh, it to the ring the light, DMV. they did the GMV, which I thought was hilarious, and I would like to see that return. My favorite part was TS and Rue making each other. Thank laugh. you. I was gonna it say it was the best. The that, queens did okay, but it was all about. I don't Rue think and the TS. queens did that great. I think Nymphia was the funniest, but yeah. I understand that because number one, these episodes are filmed early in the morning. They start early. It's the first time on Drag Race. It's probably like 9 a.m. Yeah. I understand why they didn't fully take on the opportunity, but I was so proud of TS and Rue as I'm sitting there with my in-laws because they were so funny. They were so funny. And they were, everyone was laughing. And I was like, TS Madison is an icon because they knew Rue, but they didn't know TS Madison. And I was like, what a beautiful, what a beautiful introduction. introduction. Wait. Was that bug real? Yes. Like unplanned. Oh, I don't think it was unplanned, but that was a real bug. Wasn't it moving? Why would they get a bug in there just for that? It's funny. Listen, it's art and you've got to you got to commit. I was traumatized because or triggered because we went to a Chili's and there was a bug just like that on the table. On our table. Yeah. And we didn't get anything free for it. We didn't deserve it. Chili's is a place where you have to earn the right to a clean table. You have to earn your I don't baby think we wanted ribs. it enough. <laughs> That's true. Okay, should we go yeah. into this? Let's um... go to the talent show. Derek Barry's back. Now, I saw the comments and listen, I'm glad that she has fans and I'm glad that you love her and I'm glad that you think she's had a glow up. I think that's great. I disagree and that's okay. That's okay. But I'm so happy she's in the lexicon. It made me giggle when she showed up again and I'm not shitting on her. I'm, I'm farting in her direction. Yeah. We're gonna head to the runway and then we're gonna talk about their talent with Ooh, their looks. Dual, dual. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot to talk about. The runway was like, show me. It was another reveal. Show me reveal. Geneva Vroom Vroom Car. I thought this was so good. It, this was so cool. Did I love the final look on its own? Not necessarily, but. But coming from the like mariachi. I like that it wasn't a rip away reveal. I like that it was a Cinderella on Broadway reveal. Yeah. I liked that it very clearly told us who she was. I think this was a stellar episode. This is a great first impression. S and speaking of first impressions, mm. she opened the talent show and she was so cute and she did so well. I loved it. What did she it. say? She's like, I got through customs or what did she say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I can't remember. But she made me laugh. She was such a good dancer. It was an earworm song. She basically, by the end of the song, was just saying, I'm Geneva, I'm Geneva, I'm Geneva, over yeah. and over. I love it. We're all Geneva. She's such a calm personality and presence 
off stage yeah. that it's so exciting to see her come to life on stage. It reminded me of Aurora on Canada. Her Sheila Corrigan hey. She was giving a nod to traditional drag queens Classic. with the ruffle coat. Yeah. And this honestly fucking stunning, buttery, I, soft. I loved oh, it. Oh, this is very you. I loved it. And yeah. I gotta say, Michelle, I disagree. I liked where it cut off. I thought if it went all the way to the ground, it would have been weird. And I thought if it had come up, it would have cheapened it. I liked that it was kind of mother of the bride length. It was already so sexy. I don't think it needed to be short. Yeah. Her body looked incredible. Her paint was incredible. The I styling. loved the gold. I love the glasses and the hip. I wonder if that was attached or if it was just... Oh yeah, it's yeah, like it's a attached. ruffle. I thought it was like a gold I bracelet for your hips. I also like that she paid homage to like classic reveals. Do I wish she had worn it down a little further down the runway? Yes. It was kind of like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's on, it's off, but the-, the It's hot under those lights. It's so, and it's she was so, so tight in the pleather and stuff. She was also very hot in her song. Now the outfit was a little silly. Why was but, she jungle? Why was she jungle? Because she searched through the jungle- For her whip crack, head snap? She searched through the jungle for anyone to- Throw her head at. I did think it was very funny at the end of it when they cut to Geneva's talking head and she's like, I mean, she killed it. I don't know why she was in the jungle though. But <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Again, the song was the song good. was fire. It yeah. was another, and the performance was great. I feel so bad for her brain. I'm sure that took a beating. She said Cornbread helped her write it or wrote it. I hear that. Yeah, I can hear Cornbread's voice. I did like on Twitter people were saying how her outfit was cheap and weird looking, and I agree. It yeah, was, it was. It was, it great. was stoned though. But she said, "Yeah, I'm poor. What the fuck." <laughs> <laughs> Enough, enough said. Okay, great. Love it. Let's talk about Megami. She was a biblically accurate angel. Yes. And her reveal was eyes on hands. There were a couple... She's art. She's, yeah. She's art. And art cannot be... Uh, art must be protected. Well, we'll get to that line in a second. But <laughs> there's a couple problems with this. Number one, what she was wearing looked like a reveal. That like robe gown, it looked like it was gonna reveal into something. So to be on a reveal runway and wear something that looks like it could be a reveal and then not reveal was a little anticlimactic. Maybe there was something else she was trying to wear and then it, it just didn't clear. work out. Maybe it didn't get clear the to The eyes I think are very cool. I wish there had been some sort of lead up to it so that when she did finally do it, we could all go, <gasps> oh, oh that was the oh. reveal. Like maybe if she rolled the eyes down the stage first, like you don't see anything, you just see a hand toss some eyes, like some dice. And then she comes out and then she picks them up and then boom. That is one way to interpret it. Her talent show number was lip syncing and it was a very strong message. It was a, it was a very message. It's a message that we support. It was a mess. And it, honestly, it's... <laughs> I get what she was doing. Sure. I don't know why you would do this no. on your first... Right. Uh, you know, you're introducing yes. yourself to the world. Yes. Couple things too. The people that are watching Drag Race agree with your signs. So I don't know, I don't know what that was doing yeah. exactly. I mean, I support the right to do it, of course. You can yeah. say what you want. And I like the message. I Which... like where your head's at. I didn't like where your cards were. Yeah, it just never went anywhere. And I gotta say, Plain Jane had an incredible quote when she's like, I agree, protect queer art, but was there anything there to protect? <laughs> she was, she's good, that was good. What art was there to protect? Get out of here. Again, appreciate the message. It just unfortunately was not a thing. She's very lucky that there were no eliminations this episode. Absolutely. We were very lucky to get to witness Maya I'm on the page doing what she does best, which is flipping the fuck out. She's a flipper. Flipping the fuck in. I really liked her reveal coat. I wish she would have worn it longer. I wanted to see more of it. I did not like her reveal coat, but I further- You didn't even get a moment to see it. When they're getting judged, she was wearing yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. But I would have loved to at least see it a little longer. I understand that though. I have that problem sometimes when we do live performances where I get a little too nervous. And you just want to get on. And I'm doing too much. And yeah. I, I have a hard time centering myself. So I understand your first runway. She's like, okay, I got to do a reveal. And she just immediately does. I understand that. But yeah, I wish we had gotten at least to the end of the runway. The reveal was another bathing suit. It was a bathing suit, yeah. Not my favorite. I loved her figure. I think she has the cutest little body. And I like her hair. I like It's like little mouse ears. She was a Flipped stress. That's what she's known for. She's known for flipping on tables. That was crazy and impressive. 
And scary and fun. Listen, I'm not gonna be mad at you. I had a great if time. All you're doing is flipping. I love that. And I love that when Rue was like, How'd you learn it? And she <laughs> yes. was like, I was flipping with my cousins. <laughs> and she was like, Yes. No, no, she goes, I was out flipping with my cousins and then we just started flipping. <laughs> Because, yeah, it's Florida. I believe you. Yeah. Go for it, babe. I think her performances are going to be great as far as dancing and performing. I worry about her in acting challenges or any challenge where she has to have a large personality. I'm very she concerned. She does, yeah, she does seem a little... Subdued. I don't know if it... Subdued, yeah. And they, they tend to not go easy on those those kinds of yeah, personalities. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't see her going too far if this season is filled with a lot of acting and, like, personality personality challenges. Yeah. Which I assume it's going to be. So flip while you can, babe. On the other hand, it could just be like, she doesn't say much, but when she does say stuff, it makes her cackle. That has yet to be the case. Don't you remember the she MV? Nymphia wind bananas. Adorable life cycle. Life the life cycle, cycle of, of bananas. bananas. She had two reveals. The fact that she revealed into saggy banana titties. And she the they aged along. Also, this wig was insane. Yeah, the wig was incredible. Who did it? I don't know, but it Leave was Leave in the insane. comments, I have to know. I did follow the person, oh God, I'm such a bitch, I can't remember. I did follow the person that made the outfit and I'm obsessed. I loved the idea, I loved the concept of a life cycle of a banana. Incredible. Crowner. Put Crowner her banana, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. And then her talent was so fucking good. I think her talent was the winner, for me. For me too. Me. Oh, for 100 percent. I love whenever. I mean, we say this it all the time. It was dynamic. It was beautiful. We're white people, so we don't have culture. So I love when anyone brings their culture to the main stage, and I especially love it when they do it really well. And I love fabric. So when she was playing with those sleeves, how yeah. they, I, I was really it brings me joy. Yeah, I love when it goes. And, and then I when, love she, the bird when she when she leaped, it was all great. When she leaped, can I say this? And I've had this complaint. I think I had this complaint last week. I want the lighting people. This is a TV show. I want the lighting people to work with them beforehand, and I want them to have custom lighting for their numbers. I think the bright stage with no depth to it, I think it did her a disservice. Yeah. I think if the lighting was more dynamic, I just don't understand. You put on this whole like show, you have all these props and all this like backup dancers and stuff, and then you don't consider the lighting. I don't know. It bothers me. Yeah. But it, it, it was, she killed it. Plain Jane. She was a Russian Fabergé queen. And then, uh, Boston whore. A slut, yeah. Don't care for this wig without the headgear. I also, I don't care how much you rhinestone it. Jean shorts. I don't think I'll ever be a fan. I mean, I, I appreciate I, the I like silliness. The of I appreciate that it was so silly, but it was it's so like jarring. Her ancestors came here from Russia so she could be a Daisy Dukes. Yeah, it wasn't for me, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be not everything's for me. Yeah, it was weird. And where did that Sorry. finger come from, I wonder? It's her burger finger. <sighs> Speaking of burger finger, yeah. so I love a Halloween costume. I wear them all the time in drag because my drag is what? Not valid. But if you are, I'm not are you looking... texting? Well, do you, okay, let me ask you this. Can let I please, no, no, no. Yeah, can I can please I... respond to this? Wait one second. Is it something that if you don't respond immediately, it's a bad thing? Like, could you wait 20 minutes and then text them back? Do it's you need to text them? It's a little right time sensitive. Okay. I understand that. You didn't have to like, I can call me out. It made me feel good though. Okay. I've had a really hard month. That's true. I love that she went for it. I definitely need to do more stoning. I am now aware, but you're on TV. I just wish she had put like wire in it to make it fully out. I wish she had steamed it. It just looked I so I want full bummer. Katy Perry Met Gala yeah. 3D. Yeah. But I understand. Also, if you're gonna come in shitting on everyone else, you need to look amazing 100% of the time. Otherwise, why are you why are you talking down to people? That's why I'm saying it's coming off as very insane secure because I think she is aware of those things and I think the problem is that the judges are eating it up yeah eating up that burger well it's a problem and it's also an incredible turn of events because it makes watching the show so much more exciting because yeah. you're just like what the fuck yeah I like saying that to the tv she does her burger finger she rips this off she squirts stuff on her I gotta say I like stupid and I think if you go on drag race you have to do stupid yeah. for RuPaul yeah so I thought that was smart I also want to comment that everyone's comparing her to Jimbo and saying like well Jimbo does this and like she just copied Jimbo that's not true I don't see a Jimbo comparison Jimbo I... didn't invent big boobs and dumb 
And also, she didn't write this song, Burger Finger, for the show. This is a song she's done for years. So she wasn't copying anyone. Jimbo did not invent hilarious big boobs and farts. There's this weird, okay, there's this quality, the sugar, the sugar and spice girls did that too, where they think camp is like, oh, yeah. you know. That was And it's just kind of weird. Ask the queen of camp. You're allowed to say that. I took one of my gloves off, so I'm putting my hand in my Because she got her, her burger finger in yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Now a burger now finger is part of now it. Now you're going to say it. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I did like it. Maybe I did like I it. I thought it was fine. I thought it was a really good middle of the road talent for me. Part of me. I didn't need, I didn't need, um... And we didn't. Let's talk about Plasma. I thought her runway was so fucking adorable. I thought immediately of you. I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. I didn't like the Capri, and that's didn't just love me. the Capri. Didn't love the Capri, and that's okay. You don't. But have to I love thought capri. it was so cute, I like and I loved song. the idea. I mean, those tomatoes are iconic. If you've ever done sewing or been into sewing, yes, of course. Or if you've ever had a mom or a Whoa. aunt or Whoa. an aunt okay, or a grandma or a dad, men can sew too. Only faggots. You have really got to investigate this internal misogyny you have. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry to me. Apologize to yourself, bitch. Okay. Apologize to those hot titties. <laughs> I can be misogynistic because my wiener's like super big. <laughs> Is that your burger finger? Your wiener? <laughs> I'd put it in a burger. <laughs> I thought I she it. looked really cute. It was so cute. Yeah, she had a little burlesque She's moment. Cute. She's cute. Let's talk about her talent. I don't think she was singing live. I think she was lip syncing. To herself. To herself. I think she has a coarse voice. Here's the thing is, I don't think you Beautiful can necessarily voice. tell because whenever someone sings live on the show, they do over edit it. So she may have been singing live oh, and see, they just over edited so. it. I, think I don't they, know. I, can't I think tell. they leave the live singers hanging. No, so they, they don't. So they feel bad. No, they don't. But don't you remember Fifi O'Hara? I feel like if they're a little bit bad, but that, they I, highlight I it that with was the editing. Also just like her. I was just, that's probably the best she can do. That's true. I Listen, loved it. These girls are told they have 60 seconds to show what they can do. And she said, I'm going to show you everything I can I'm gonna do. I'm going to show you singing. I'm going to show you impressions. And I'm going to show you Burlesque. reveals. Well, I didn't think it was too much. I thought it was hilariously too much. I enjoyed like, it. Like, we know who you I are. I wanted You're, it to She's going. a theater kid. Yes. Yeah. It was so earnest and so unnecessary. But the impressions were fine, but they were so run of the mill gay guy reference that it made me love her even more because what did uh, Michelle say? Be master of one instead of master of none. Yeah, jack of all instead of a jack of all trades. And I enjoy the fact that she was master enough. I thought, I, thought, I thought her I thought timing. Was cute. I thought her timing was excellent. Yeah, I thought it was super cute. And I thought she was funny. I thought she engaged. I liked it. Yeah, I would see her show. I worry for her that she's gonna get the same treatment that we've seen for like Jan and Miss Cracker of like yeah. dangling wins in front of her and never actually giving her one. Yeah. Because you know they love to take the talented girls and give them nothing. So I hope that's not her journey. I want to know what's going on with Miss Cracker. I want to know about her mental health. Yeah. It seems dark in there. Yeah. I love that she goes and travels around in full drag whenever she goes on tour. Oh, I, it's cunt. You see I her in front it. of Big Ben in her pink dress? Honey. Bitch. That's all I want to do. Completely unnecessary. I don't, I... I'm obsessed. <laughs> so, that is the end of the reveal runway. Oh my God, Alexis. Huh. I forgot. I have a reveal. Oh my God, what's happening? Oh, it smells. <laughs> It sounds like your burger finger. <laughs> ah! I got no. I got it. Don't. <laughs> okay. Look away. Just. Okay. Oh, my earrings fell off. Don't look over here. Okay. Oh no. Do 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 do. Don't look yet. Don't look at ever. Look away. Look away, everybody. Do do do. Unless you're driving, and then look at the phone. Do 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 do. This would be your whole minute if you were on the show. Shut up. Give me a second. Do 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 do. Oh, my both fingers went into that one. 
I get rid of small fingers. Both your burger fingers fit in that. Ta-da! You can oh look now. Oh my god! You look like when you spray the cheese out of the can. I'm mustard. I'm the background of the confessionals. I love this dress. I love this it's dress so, too. It's one I, of the it's first Alexis things. Alexis Bevel's iconic to trees. It's one of the first things I've ever made. I thought I got rid of it. So we go to Raida Queen. Oh, I forgot they get to find out about Raida Queen. Everyone discusses ahead of time that they're gonna do by merit. And then Plain Jane says, nope. I'm doing the worst up top and the best down low. So none of them win. I think probably her shit worked. Yeah, I think it's smart. I mean, I mean, it's evil. They voted for her because they really enjoyed it. And I, I, I have to say, for if yourself. you're in the room and RuPaul is screaming, I think you would like it more. So I, yeah. I, I get why everyone voted for her. I understand it. Again, if there was some sense of her but, kind of being in on the joke, I think yeah. I would be more for it. But it's just, I don't know. It's not as much fun in the attitude that she's currently having, but I did like watching it. How do I feel? I don't know. <laughs> nice. Couldn't tell. Couldn't tell you were yawning. That was incredible. <laughs> Sorry. Incredible. So we do end up having a top two, and it's gonna actually go ahead and have, have to be Plain Jane and Geneva Carr, which I was excited for. I was really excited too. I mean, it should have gone to Nymphia and Geneva. I, I, but, okay. I wonder if Nymphia would have been in there except for Plain Jane put her in the bottom and probably lowered her average. Oh, maybe. That's, That's the interesting. Thing. That's why I think it's Nymphia, fucked up. I think for me, pot of me, Nymphia won the episode. And for me, pot of me, Megami is a sweet girl. Very sweet. So we get a lip sync for yourself. With Becky G. <gasps> now, Who was there? She was sweet. She's very sweet, but listen. The first group gets an Academy Award winning superstar celebrity. The second group gets Becky G. Now I'm not putting her well, down. You don't I'm know sure what she's Becky great. G's future lies. I'm sure she's great. In store. She should have an Oscar right now. No. But I liked her energy. She's so cute. I did like her energy. And I like that song. I know the song. I didn't know who she was until I heard the song. And I was like, oh, oh TikTok, yeah. TikTok. Okay, sure. Singing in the shower. shower. Right, right. We get a lip sync. I had high hopes for Geneva, but unfortunately, Plain Jane did kind of outperform her. I it think was funny. The, I was think, funny. well. Her tip fell out. Her tip fell out. She didn't notice for a long time. And then she suddenly noticed. Trend alert. Tip titty falling bibs out. falling out. That's fun. If you want to win Drag Race. You got to get a titty bib. Get a weird fitting titty bib. And then you got to make them fart. come out. So the winner of this episode is Plain Jane. Not my fantasy, but I love the drama. I love the drama of it. Yeah. So. Congratulations, congratulations. Plain Jane. Congratulations. She has a win. Next week, we get to see the girls come together. We get to see all the girls come. And that's always a fun moment. Is it going to yeah. be dramatic? I feel like this it's season it will. Yeah. It's going to be dramatic. And I'm so excited for Plain Jane to meet Amanda. Something's going to happen. I stole that from you. You hate Amanda. I stole that. No, I don't. Not at all. I think it's funny the way she looks. <laughs> uh, currently. <laughs> No, 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 on the episode. She looks funny. Yeah. But now she's beautiful. She was on Watch What Happens Live and she looked great. Oh, I love that. That is the end of that episode. If you enjoyed that and you want to come back next week, hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell. Oh my gosh, join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash I am each other show. We're also both on Cameo, so go there. Oh, I should turn my Cameo back on. Oh, me too. We'll We're going to be we'll back do that. on Cameo. We'll do that, we'll do that. But if you don't want to wait that long, you can order a Shamio. Go to imeachothershow.com. You know what the smell is? It's these gloves. Smell my hand. Did it smell like piss? Ooh, it smells like um, hot dog water. No, it smells like. D do remember the frogs that you had to dissect in high oh, school? Oh, ew, ew! No, ew! That's it. Ew, that is it. Also, our own merch is dragqueenmerch.com. Hang on, don't go anywhere. I do have an announcement. I am going to be in San Francisco <gasps> in like a week. Oh my god, that's I, so exciting! They really wanted you to come too, but someone has watched JB, so. Oh, do I have to watch TV? Mm-hmm. I pay you. Okay. On Sunday, January 28th, I will be doing the infamous brunch at Bo called Babes Who Brunch. Babes Who Brunch. It's so much funnier when you say it a second time. Babes Who Brunch. And of course, it's hosted by the beautiful Ruby Red Monroe, and I'm not threatened. That was the show when we went that I had the most fun at. The crowd is just incredible. The vibes are immaculate. The yeah. brunch show at Bow on Sunday is the place to be. Performing be our legends Mercedes Monroe and Carney Asada. Carney Asada.
Oh my god. I'm obsessed. Okay, Incredible. along with local talent Alexis Miranda, and so I am so excited to hang out with these queens and most importantly get drunk on a Sunday morning. Now Ruby's brunches do sell out very quickly, so make sure that you go ahead and get your tickets if there's still some left. I'm sure there are, maybe? I don't know. Go ahead and do that, and also if you have a drinking problem, you're more than welcome. We are going to be your rock bottom. Okay, we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye. I Darby. take this other glove off. I mean, truly. Speaking, Darby. <laughs> Speaking of watching JP, you know I just watched JP for about eight. Thank you for days. doing that. You're welcome so much. It was I did six let days. you know the. Uh, it was six days. Wednesday to Wednesday. Oh, oh. Do you know what? You regardless. Wednesday to Tuesday. Irregardless. Okay. I did tell you about the incident of her getting into some treats and maybe eating more than her share. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I'm not mad. They were wrapped. They were wrapped and in boxes and wrapped again. Where were they? On the floor? Yeah. Okay. So listen, right before we left, JB ate the chocolate, the coconut chocolate treats that you got me and Curtis. Neither of us liked them. Well, I didn't put and those. I no, no, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. But we put them in a bag and put it in the closet and then Curtis was going through stuff. So it was a bag on the floor and it was a traumatic experience. And I was like, you just got to be careful with food. And you're like, no problem. What? I was leaving. They were out. I don't want to leave them outside. And they were triple wrapped. Who knew she could break into the freaking... She's part pit bull. Fort Knox. And we were gone. So she's emotionally unstable yeah anyway the point is she did vomit i don't know if you saw i couldn't quite get this thing oh yeah, it's right here it's right here where you yeah. just put your burger yeah it's right there and then the other one is oh it's right where your foot is i did work really hard to try and get no, the stains you're fine, out you're fine. we do have a spot bot a spot a, a spot bot yeah a spot bot so you could have easily done it but i'll do it well no, I, I did i, I did my so hands i, I felt so bad Girl, i it was so much vomit well yeah she ate an entire box of toothbrushes she left like six. I just, you can't leave anything near her ever. Yeah. Well, I didn't think she could get into packaging. You didn't think a dog could chew through cardboard? It was wrapped in cellophane, then in cardboard, then in a sealed bag individual, like in there. Yeah, she's a dog. Listen. That's so insane. I know that it's hard for you to imagine even biting into an apple with your teeth, but she has very strong dog teeth. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. She bites into it all. Yeah. So when I'm in San Francisco meeting all of my fan, you will be back here and maybe just next time don't leave stuff on the floor. Okay. How was she though? Was she awful? I'm sorry. No, she was wonderful. She, she was great. Sweetest. She's the sweetest. And we cuddled a lot. I missed her so much because when we were at Curtis's parents' house, his sister brought their dog and their dog is like a cat. It won't let you rub it. It won't respond to you. If you call it, it won't unless it wants to suddenly. Like, it's just, it's not a fun dog. Mm -hmm. It's cute. It's not fun. But JB, she'll come get up in your shit. Yeah. And I love that. And if she's really tired, I can play with, like, her legs and drop them and stuff, and I can make her do maracas. She's so sweet. I know, she's the best. I did, um, I know you left the air bed, air mattress out, uh, but I was worried about her nails. So I did sleep in your bed. and I could um, tell. You left a very distinct Alexis sweat body print. So we burned the bed. Thank you for doing that though, truly. You're I, welcome. If I didn't have a friend that had nothing else going on for them, <laughs> I think leaving town would be really difficult. I will say the end of the run, shuffling back and forth from work. Woo! I'm so that was sorry. Rough. No, it's okay. You gave me money. I'm going to give you a little more too. I'm just... I'm strapped for cash because of holidays and, you know, no, no, my terrible no. life that's happening right now. Yeah, it's okay. Are these compression socks? Yeah, I like them for work. Oh, did a doctor tell you to wear them? No, but I did get health insurance. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Alexis. The cards came and everything. Holy shit. Yeah. That's huge. Thank you. You are going to make a doctor so happy because job security. <laughs> Alexis, I'm so proud of you. I'm, look, I, you know what? And you should. I made a lot of resolutions at the beginning. I was feeling very resolute, feeling very galvanized. Yeah. To like get some things going with my life. Yeah. And I got insurance, getting booted out of my house, but now I have my own place. I'm so proud of you. 2024 is really We're, up. We are, I mean, besides how it started for you, it's going to be a great year. <laughs> it's going to be an amazing year. And I, technically, that was the end of 2023 for well, you. Well, 
Yeah, but we're still dealing with it. I'm gonna turn lemons into lemonade, the album, oh, because my Witter's Peak was showing. You have to, we have to do it over again. Okay. Hello. Well, I'm not doing that. Curtis and I will be flying back and forth between Philadelphia a lot this year, probably. So, so I'm gonna I sign gonna... up for plane rewards program. I've never had one of those. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. We should go sign up for um, TSA PreCheck or whatever. Yeah, at Staples. I want to do that. If I get <gasps> my driver's license, can I use your car? Of course. Can I tell you something? Can I use it without my driver's license? I'm not going to say yes to that publicly. Excuse no, I'm going to get my driver's license this year because I'm that's proud another of you because thing. Because you're having a good year. I'm having I'm 2024. I am that whore. I'm working say it again. on this slogan. Say it again. Say I'm it again. I'm working on this slogan. No, I love that. Listen, whores. 2024, a knock knock, who's at the door? Opportunity. A whore. Uh, can I tell you this insane, you deal with it every day, insane human beings in retail, okay? Yeah. But you know another place where you can see an insane human being? An airport. Oh yeah. We get to the airport, this is the first day, and the airport's dead. There's like no one there, it's great. We get on the escalator to go up to the security check thing, and everyone's just kind of standing, cause like, no rush, there's no line, but this guy like, zooms by us. So he ran ahead, like whatever, maybe he's late. He gets in front of us in the security line and I guess the woman, there are like two people in front of him. That's how long the line was, two people. The woman that's currently getting her ID checked, she had a lot of questions. Not the person to be asking, you know, get through security and then ask your questions, but she's asking the guys questions. And because there's not a lot going on, I'm like, ask your question, bitch, I don't care. He goes, come on, I'm gonna miss my flight. Like just kind of screams that out into nothing. What I loved was no one turned to look at him. No one, the guy that was helping the woman kept helping the woman, the woman kept talking. Like everyone ignored him. And I just thought, good job team, good job team. That's incredible. Then the guy in front of him gets up, he asks a question instead of just like handing his ID. And this grown man stomped his foot. <gasps> he went, he stomped it in the puke spot. Well, there was puke on the floor where he stomped too, oh, so it's okay. accuracy. But I just turned to Curtis and I just went, he is a grown adult. That's crazy. That's a crazy <gasps> way to act. Did it save him any time? No. Did it give me a little joy? Yes. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye.